Please ignore my edges because they're, they look a hot mess right now. Like, I did not do my edges this morning and it's okay because I don't want to. Anyway, y'all, so by the title, you already know what the, I'm going to be talking about. It is actually some real shit. I was he hesitating to talk about this topic for the longest. But it's been on my brain, so I'm going to talk about it, because I want to. And anything that's being said in this video is public knowledge. So y'all ain't really getting no tea, but y'all just getting my side story. <clears throat> so before you get into this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, write my likes for my comments, already know this is your first consumer of the video. So this all took place around March 2009. Y'all, I don't know what the hell I was doing in March 2009. All I know is that in March 2009, I was in the 10th grade. And I was getting ready to leave the 10th grade coming June 2009. Was I with my ex-boyfriend by that time? No, I was single like a Pringle. Okay. So 2009, I was in 10th grade, I was 17, I had just turned 17, two months prior, and yeah, I was doing what high school kids do, like I was just getting my education, chilling with friends, doing dumb shit, and that's about it. So I was in the 10th grade, and I remember, y'all, I remember this night, like it was yesterday. So, I was getting ready to go to bed, and my mom was on the phone not too sure who she was talking to at the moment but she was on the phone so she's on the phone and you know I'm kind of getting ready to go to bed like brushing my teeth getting lots of water getting my phone because you know I'd be on my phone before I go to sleep anyway I hear my mom on his phone and I, I like now I know she's talking to my grandma because my grandma, I can hear my my mother saying, oh, I don't know where she is. Um, I'm gonna, anybody heard from her? This is ridiculous. Da, 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 da. So I'm like, who are they talking about? Like at that point, I, I'm thinking like somebody's missing. So I'm like, what the fuck? So my mom hangs up the phone with my grandmother and she starts calling a person. When I know it's my auntie, she's like, if I should use her name anyway so she's like yo like I did not say yo but she's like listen bro like mom's looking for you like where are you everybody's calling you I've been calling you we're gonna call the police no one's heard from you like where are you this that and the third like yo my mom is one of them Jamaican ladies like it only takes her two times She's gonna say something two times and then she's gonna get pissed. So she's calling and calling and calling and calling and calling. At that point, like I'm listening. I'm at my, I'm at my bedroom door, literally like this now. Like I, I'm keeping. Like I want to know the tea. Like what, what the fuck's going on? Like we talking about my auntie here. So yeah, like she's calling nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. After a while, like I got tired and I went to sleep. I went to sleep, I wake up, getting ready for school, and I don't know if it's all over the news yet, but still, it's, like, my mom's still talking to my grandmother, still talking to, like, my other aunts and uncles, like, everybody's talking to everybody, and I have no choice but to go to school. Like, I want to stay home and listen to the tea, but I have no choice but to go to school because I'm in the 11th, I'm in the, what, what grade was I in? I'm in the 10th grade, I have no choice, 2009, right, yeah, I'm in the 10th grade, I have no choice, I have to get my little ass to school, so I got to school, and at this point, everybody in their mama is talking about it, so what had happened was, my aunt, my aunt was going through a custody battle for her youngest child, which is my cousin, and I guess, 
he got like the custody battle ruled in his favor because my aunt did not get what she wanted y'all like my aunt was like my whole family real secretive they don't like telling me anybody their business so I didn't even know that my aunt had a boyfriend like my aunt like I just knew that my aunt came home with a baby and it's her like I didn't know who the father was like again I was young I was like 17 I could care less about my auntie's personal life like that but yeah that that was just the gist now I know that my auntie was a side chick Thing like that. My auntie was a side chick and she fell in love with this man and thought that this man was gonna leave his wife for her as he she was probably told but that just wasn't the case so she goes on to have this baby for this man and this baby is kept a secret my aunt is holding this baby over his head you need to tell your wife this that and third blah 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 so I guess the wife, the man tells the wife and now, you know, everybody knows about this baby. The baby's welcomed and my aunt does not like that because she thought, of course, once the wife found out that maybe, you know, she would leave him and my aunt would get him. But that wasn't the case. So we get to the custody battle now. Like I said, the judge ruled in his favor rather than what my aunt wanted and she's not okay with this. Y'all, I don't know what was going through my aunt's head. I don't know what happened, but there was a night where, again, this is what I was talking about in the beginning. My aunt went missing. She went AWOL. Nobody heard from her. It was nighttime up in, uh, until the morning, and everybody and their mama know about this, bro. Like everybody, everybody at my school was talking about this, and I was. I think I only told my best friend at the time that it was my aunt like everybody's talking about it and I kept my mouth shut I did not want anybody to know that I was related to the woman except my best friend like my best friend at the time was the only one that knew and I don't think she told anybody so you were a real writer so um yeah so where was I <laughs> It's not even alleged because it's it's out there in public like it was written in the paper so I can talk about it so what my aunt had done was she took my cousin to work with her because they're where she works there's a daycare that he attends and she took him there before going there I guess she bought an exhaust pipe or something she hooked the hose to the back of the car I guess it's called the muffler where the gas comes out and she left the car on all day with the hose extending from the from the gas pipe to the back window where my little cousin was and she left him there all day breathing in the fumes and I guess he passed from carbon monoxide poisoning I think that's what it was I don't know but he died from the gases Bro, I, like, I can't imagine him being there all day. I really pray to God that he was not in any pain. I, I pray that he just passed, passed away peacefully. He was only 18 months. So I really hope that he didn't have any breathing problems, anything like that. Like, I really hope that he just passed peacefully. But yeah, so he passed and... My aunt, I'm not too sure what she had done, but it was reported that she also tried to take her own life. It just didn't work. But, yeah, and y'all, I remember going to one of her court dates. Y'all, and this is what really had me, like, this is how I knew something mentally was wrong with my aunt. Because we were all sitting there, I think this was at the beginning of the court case so like the, the the judge didn't really start talking yet I'm not sure. like I was young I didn't understand what was going on in the court just like I wasn't listening I just wanted to see what was gonna happen so I'm there at the courts and my aunt is in this cubicle in a, the orange jumpsuit y'all I remember this so vividly like it's crazy She's in the orange jumpsuit, 
in the cubicle facing the judge and she turns around and she's looking at me and I'm looking at her and she gives me like a little smirk and wave and I was like I don't know why that that had me like to this day I don't know why this had me so shook I guess it's because I was expecting her to cry I was expecting her to be really emotional so for you to turn around and smirk at me and wave I was like Bro, does she does she not understand why we're here? Does she not understand why you're seeing my face right now? Does she not understand like what's going on? But I think that now I'm older, I understand that she's come to terms with what she's done. Like she did what she did what she thought she had to do to protect her child from being raised, you know, with what she didn't want him to be raised with, which was the father and his wife. But y'all, that to this day has me like, like, I don't know, bro. So, all in all, she got 20 to life. I think, I don't know, I, I recently read newspaper clippings and articles on the internet. And it says she's got life. Yo, I didn't even know she got life. I thought she just got like 20 years. But yeah, bro, she got life. That happened when I was 17. Y'all, I'm 30 now. Time lies, bro. I, I can't even, like, wow. Yeah, so that was like 13 years ago. Wow, that took me long. So he would have been like 14 right now. Bro, and it's, even like at his funeral, he was so cute. He was in his little Winnie the Pooh outfit that my mom bought. I think my mom bought him that outfit. And it was really, really adorable. Y'all, I really miss... Yo, he had the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. He was really fair complected. And he had the most beautiful green, greenish, hazelous eyes I've ever... Like, he had the most beautiful eyes ever. I really miss looking into his eyes. Like, it was, it was really... Like, he had really cute eyes. He was a very beautiful baby. But, yeah, y'all. All I'm saying is, like, you don't know what people are going through, y'all. So, please don't judge. Like, you ne like you never know. Just, I really thought that my aunt had the perfect life. Like, I really did think she had the perfect life. Like, no, she didn't have a husband or whatever. But she had a very good job. She had two other kids. She seemed financially stable. Like, she had a car. I thought like I thought she had a really good life, but I don't I don't know, bro. So you you never know, bro. Like you know. Anyways, y'all, I'm done rambling. But yeah, that's the story. I mean, my family's okay now. We're just you know trying to be. We're just trying to move on, trying to live. But anyways, y'all, I thank y'all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I here is that sound. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, run all likes on like comments. Y'all already know this is your girl saying I'm gonna make a video. Tune into my other videos. I just posted one, so y'all go check that out. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hot gala, hot gala, sweet like a